Hello everyone, welcome back to my Tech69 channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about integer variables in C language. What are variables? Variables are like labels. You can label a string to a name. Suppose you call your friend by his name, here name is variable, and you call another friend by his name. In both cases the names are not same, but you are referring the names of the persons with name. So, what are integers? Integers are decimal numbers, simply normal numbers, 1, 2, 3 and so on. In C language, integer variables hold integer type values. Say we declare integer variable as equals 10. You can refer to that 10 value with it instead of writing 10 all times. In order to get better understanding, let's declare some variables, say int as equals 2 and put semicolon at the end. Remember, in C language, every statement ends with semicolon. In the same way, let's declare another variable b equals 3 and also another variable c, which is addition of above two variables. Now as expected, variable c contains value 5. Let's print this variable to the screen. We use printf function to do this. Write printf and string you want to output to. Now we use percentage %d, which is format specifier. It tells us in which format we need the output. In this case percentage %d means integer. That means we require output of integer and we write another parameter, the integer variable, the one we need to output to. Now run this program. And you can see the value of C is 5. Now you have some understanding of integer variables. Now let's set a breakpoint and debug the program. To do that, on the left side of the line numbers, go to your desired line, and in the gray area, just click on the beside line number. Now you can see a red circle. This is breakpoint. Breakpoint is simply a point where our program runs up to that point and gets paused. Then we can verify variables and its values. Now click on run. As you can see the program has stopped just before the line the red circle pointing to M. And also you can see there is yellow arrow mark inside red circle. Yellow marker is like instruction pointer. It points to the next instruction to be executed. We can execute program step by step. To do that go to your top bar, right to run button. And there you can see, step into, step over step out. Now I will step over the program and watch the variables in the locals window. As you can see variable a value has changed to 2 because our code line int equals 2 has executed. In same way if I step over then I can see variable b value has changed. Similar way c variable. Now let's see how in memory will be simply ram. Go to debug, windows, choose memory, now you can see memory of your program, OS has given to, in that you can find values of variables, we can also see how stack works, but I will cover that in x86 videos, now type it and hit enter, you can see 2 value, that's just value, now type ampersand it, you can see value is 2, but in reverse order right, it's because in memory, values will be stored in little endian order, in same way, we can Thanks for watching, hit like and subscribe to my channel for more tech related videos.